Constitution. So if you ever get a chance to peruse chapters and see macroeconomics on the shelf, you'll want to get yourself the last minute uh, to share with us your My Voice project that's featured on the NIB Nation. I'd love you to tell us a little bit more about the global conversation for change. Great, so I'm here this week because I know that it's time for us to figure out how to work together and to start to tell the story of what it is that we're talking about. And I think that to do that, we need to understand the agency of our own voice and understand and actually have the experience of talking about the world that we want to see asking the questions that we need to ask to frame this debate differently and to really land on what it is that we're talking about doing here. What is living the new economy? What does that mean? And I think that we can discover what that means through working together, through having conversations together about what our concerns are, what we have to offer this scenario we find ourselves in through talking about what we need. I believe that we're all a part of this, this emerging dream that is not yet a reality, but needs to be. And we need to name it. We need to explore it. We need to have the courage to stand up and say what it is that we think. Um, in the last few months, I've been carrying around the Charter of Rights and Freedoms. And it's a really interesting document, actually. And our first freedom that's enshrined in the Constitution for this very young country, this came to us in 81 and was adopted in 82, is the freedom of our conscience. And we also have the freedom of our conscience and religion as the first part. The second part, is the freedom of thought, belief, opinion, and expression, including freedom of the press and other media of communication. And I believe through utilizing our voices, our conscience, our ideas, and expressing them, that we can, we can really anchor in a new kind of change. It's really interesting to consider that our first freedom is our conscience, and yet we don't currently have the agency to be able to enact our conscience. Uh, two days ago, uh, the, the actions that were happening in New Brunswick with the Mi'kmaq, these are, these are people who are standing up for our freedom. And the fact that our police force and our government is standing in complete opposition to the rights of First Nations people in this country shows us that we're not there yet. And so I believe that one voice, nah, it's something, it's important. But two voices, five voices, 20 voices, 20 million voices, these are the places where we're going to be able to understand the collective story that we're trying to tell and the way that, one of the ways that we can understand how to collaborate and what it is that we're talking about. So with this project, it's my mission to be able to hold space for people to talk about the world that they want to see and the world that they want to live in and talk about what their contribution is. I understand my role of being, as being one of service in this way and I believe that we can empower ourselves voice by voice and step by step. And Tammy, that's beautiful, thank you. That's beautiful. Uh, you're raising $10,000, and what are you going to use the money for? Well, I need a decent microphone. Um, I do have audio equipment. I believe also that 
people need to get paid to do good work and I can't hold the camera and talk to the people and do all the things. No. So I would like to... You're pretty talented though. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's yeah. just not as good to do everything by yourself and actually that's not the point. So I personally have a minimum wage of 20 bucks an hour and uh, for myself and for anybody that I want, that I, that I would work with, I would want to offer that as recompense for their time. I think that part of living the new economy is actually paying people to do work and so I'm committed to doing that and so 10 grand it's not a lot um, and it's but it's a starting point it's a play it's a it's an amount where I can pay people to help me and I can get uh, additional equipment that I need to be able to do it well. Fantastic. Thank you so much. We're just going to have a look at your video here. I made this a couple last, hours ago. Last minute because yeah. I asked her to come up and share her story. I'm Tammy Lee Meyer and I'm spending the week at Living the New Economy because we need to figure out what this new economy is.